Today is the 50th anniversary of the Clean Water Act, one of the nation's groundbreaking environmental laws. And California was a pioneer in helping make it happen. On this milestone, experts tell us how the act has made us healthier and where there's still room for improvement. We're able to go out and enjoy our wonderful state. And this act is essential to making sure that 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 occurs. Before the passage of the Clean Water Act in 1972, America's waterways were heavily polluted. San Francisco Bay was used literally as a garbage dump. Shocked and disgusted, people started a political movement triggered by several environmental disasters in the late 1960s, including a horrible offshore oil spill in Santa Barbara. The public was saying, you know, hey, we, we, we want clean water. We don't want to wake up to our beaches being covered in Oil, um, our waterways catching on fire, our waterways turning magical colors. Five decades on, our rivers, lakes, and California's famous beaches are cleaner and healthier. The goal really is so that we can have rivers that are swimmable and fishable, and we can do that now. The Clean Water Act helped accomplish this by mandating pollution control technology at factories and power plants. The act also pumped a lot of federal money to state and local governments to upgrade sewage and sanitation plants. Um, the Clean Water Act is the, the most successful, as proven to be over the past 50 years, the most successful uh, federal environmental law currently on the books. But a lot has changed in 50 years. Stuff that we're dealing with now, like climate change and plastic pollution, are not reflected in the Clean Water Act. Experts also say more can be done to make sure underserved and minority communities get clean and safe water.